Hi guys, Michelle from the Scrap Shop here, and I have a fun chair makeover project to share with you today. And what I'm making over is this cute chair that my husband's grandmother found. I love this thing. It's just an old school desk chair. So, I guess it's time to start sanding. So I'm ready to start sanding the chair. My husband has this handy dandy sand. You can cut out the part of the sandpaper that you need and you just attach it on. It gives you something good to hold on to while you're working. And of course I've got my safety goggles ready. Um, if it looks like the sanding is getting really crazy and I need to get the face mask, I'll do that. But uh, for this, I don't think, I'm not anticipating an, an extra amount of particles flying around in the air. So, let's start. So I'm just looking for a light sand job that's something that can give the paint something to grab onto. I'm not looking to sand this down to the very bottom of the bare wood. Okay, so now we've finished sanding and it's, the next thing we need to do is wipe it off. So we're going to start with a wet dry rag and so we'll wipe it down with a wet rag. chair is dry and we're ready to paint and where I live we're kind of in our house is kind of in the valley of our neighborhood so it's windy a lot here and I gave up spray painting outdoors a long time ago so I have set up in my potting shed a little area where I can spray paint I just set up some cardboard and I go to town um, but since I am doing this indoors with the door open right next to where I'm painting, I need some good ventilation, I need, I need to be able to breathe. So I definitely, definitely am going to use one of the respirators today. So um, I've got my primer all ready, so that's what we're going to do first. Let's go. So our primer is done. And it's dry, so we're going to give it a light sanding using the 220 fine grade, and then wipe it down, and then we'll continue on with our next spray paint. Okay, so we've done all this prep work, and now we're finally ready to add some color to our chair. So, next up, more spray paint. So three coats of paint later, we've got our red chair, but I'm not done yet because I have one more thing I want to do to it. So this is a chair for my soon to be four year old. We're going to add an extra special element to it for it. I found a photo online of a stack of comic strips that have all been piled together. And I printed them out on some fabric. I'm going to attach that to my chair. You want to make sure you have a nice clean surface and then we're ready to decoupage. So I've Mod Podged all the fabric down and added an extra coat of Mod Podge on top. And once it dries, we're going to add our sealer. And then we're done. Okay, we've had our coat of primer and we've had our coat of paint. We've added our comic fabric. And we've done our sealer. And now we're done. And I think my son is going to love his new Spider-Man chair. 